This is a Synergy Review, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi guys, I'm Johnny from Synergy, and today on my table is the new Panasonic Lumix S5. But before talking about the camera, let's keep up the tradition and watch a short mini documentary that I filmed with it.私は、え、書道家プラス まあ、購入してくださってきてくださってありがとうって届けられるかなっていうのが、あの、このスタイルを、で、日本だけじゃなくて、世界中の人に知ってもらいたいなって思ったんですよね。あ、そうだ、インスタグラムを始めてみようと思って。全然使い方もわからなかったんですけど、最初は。ま、でもとにかく
考えてもう諦めずに。<笑>書道についてなんですけど、まあ、私はすごいあのホームグラウンドは紙にでも時々パソコンデバイスに書いたりとかあとはまあ自分の体に書いたりとかっていうのが私のスタイルなのでいつもその時にえ私を助けてくれるのが音楽、はい、イヤホンをして音楽を聴いて目を閉じてあ自分が。なんかこう愛されたなっていう瞬間ってどんなんだったかなとか自分がこの愛おしいなって思うことって何だったかなっていうのをこの頭の中でイメージしながらそしてその時に気持ちを愛を感じながらで心いっぱいに愛を感じれたなって思ったら目を開けて書き始めるんですよね。日本ってすごい先進国の中でもやっぱ女性の社会進出ってすごいまだ低くってやっぱりどうしても女性たちが結婚をしたり子供を産んだりするとみんな家庭に入ってこう静かかに落ち着くというか<笑>あとはこう女性ってこう日本の女性ってすごいセクシーをあんまりこう隠したりするので恥ずかしいと思ったりするから。周りからどう思われるだろうとか自分はそういうする勇気がないって言ってすごく抑えて生きている女性たちが多いなって感じるのでそんな中自分がまあその自分のコミュニティの中で戦闘を切ってじゃないですけどどんどんどんどんチャレンジしたり自分の生きたい人生を想像したりして本当はもっとこうそれはとても神秘的で美しいことなんだよっていうのをうんなんか自分を通して。なんか表現できたらいいな伝えれたらいいなと思ってそれをやってます、はい Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and thank you, I, for spending the whole day with me. It was really fun working and filming together. Also, a special thank you to Luciano, he's our in house editor, and as always, I think he really did a great job. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Panasonic Lumix S5. If you look at the specifications, you will find there everything that you can expect from a modern mid range camera. Currently, you can shoot up to 4K 60p. But in the near future, by the end of the year,、uh, Panasonic will come up with a firmware update and then you will be able to film in 4K DCI internally and externally. You will be able to output some raw signal into an Atomos Ninja 5 and then you will be able to film in up to 5.9K. When it comes to recording time limits, all you have to remember that as long as you are filming in 8 bit, You are only restricted by the capacity of your SD card or the life of your battery. And if you are moving into 10 bit, then you are restricted to 30 minutes recording time. But then, you know, when this is e n d you can just start recording again. When it comes to overheating, me personally, I did not have any issues with the camera. Just to, remi、uh, just to remind you, this is a fanless camera.、Uh, so obviously, Panasonic is doing something right here. So I had no issues with it. When it comes to the five axis stabilization system, I think that the camera is doing rather well. It has the right balance for me between shakiness and smoothness. Sometimes I would have preferred that it would have been a little bit stronger, but all in all, I think the balance is right. I'm sure you've been wondering about the low light capabilities of the camera, so let's watch a few clips.
so the low light capabilities of the new Panasonic Lumix S5 are rather good and I'm not going to compare it to the Sony A7S III simply because the Sony is a low light king, it's a monster, it's like a like a night vision device. If you are into running and gunning and doing some documentaries then this camera can work absolutely well uh, in most situations. So as I said in the video I think the camera is really doing well uh, in low light. Please remember that the native ISO if you are looking for the cleanest image is 640 and 4000. Yes this is a dual ISO camera. Okay let's talk a little bit about autofocus. For years that has been the Achilles heel of uh, many of the Panasonic Lumix uh, cameras and I have to say that with this one, with the S5, Panasonic did a lot of work. They really tried their best to improve the autofocus in the camera. Did they succeed? Well, I personally had some mixed results. Doesn't matter the frame rate, doesn't matter the resolution, even doesn't matter the picture profile. I think all in all there was no consistency. Sometimes or most of the time the autofocus will really behave very well and really a pleasure to use and sometimes you ask yourself why? What happened? Why suddenly it wouldn't work well? So if I have to conclude I have to say that if you are within the Panasonic range of Lumix cameras this is the best one in terms of autofocus. But if you have to compare it to any modern uh, Canon camera, camera uh, Sony or even Fujifilm, I think it's uh, a little bit behind. Now in terms of positioning the camera itself within the Lumix line, I think it can get a, li a little bit confusing because at the end of the day when it comes to video, the specifications here and the S1 are uh, rather similar. Uh, but nevertheless, I think this is the most important Lumix camera or L-mount camera that Panasonic ever produced because uh, if you look at the price range this is a 1999 camera uh, they're also throwing in the kit lens the 20 to 60 millimeter in half price meaning instead of uh, 600 it will be 300 uh, US dollars so altogether you're looking at a kit of 2300 and I think this should be the engine behind the L-mount Lumix cameras. So if this camera will do, will do well, I think Panasonic can do even better in the future. Okay, so so far we spoke about specifications and the ability of the camera to perform in different scenarios. But there is one additional thing and this is the thing that I couldn't put my finger on when I was thinking about how to communicate to you guys this camera. And this one thing is fun of use. I think this camera is extremely fun to use. It's small, it's robust. I mean, I'll try to show you, you know, when you look at it, it's really, it's so comfortable to use. It's so comfortable uh, to hold. I was running it with days now, yeah. No fatigue whatsoever. This, this is one of those cameras that uh, uh, simply brings the joy of filming back. And I think this is the most important thing besides the specifications and besides other things to consider. When you look at something that you just like to work with, yeah, and this camera is exactly that. Brings a lot of joy. I think this is one of those tools that tells you, grab me, take me, go out and film. So in that regards, I think Panasonic did really, really well uh, with a fun to use uh, piece of equipment. Good. Guys, uh, before uh, I say goodbye and thank you, one more thing. I had the opportunity to talk to Yamane-san. Yamane-san is the director at Panasonic Imaging Business Unit. And you can click right here to see the interview that we did together. We talked about uh, the current situation of uh, Panasonic. You know, the, the, the market, of course, is, uh, is changing. We also talked about the possibility of having a GH6 the possibility of a future 8K camera and so on. So I hope you might find uh, some answers to your questions in this video. But in any case, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys.